Hi, I'm John Morgan with 2020 here to share with you tips in our How Did They Do That series from the Inspiration Awards Gallery. And in this video, we're going to focus on lighting. The image that we're looking at right now from one of our winners shows two great lights right above the island. Many of the other images will show lighting, including lights being turned on, light dispersion patterns, and even lights imported from SketchUp where they've used 2020 to add lighting properties to those images. First, this is an island from a kitchen that I've already prepared. There are three, three light fixtures in it. They are all imported from SketchUp. You'll see one here, one here, and one here. And if we go and take a look at the rendering, you'll see them at the top of the rendering here, here, and here. You also notice that I've dimmed all the lights in the room because we are going to add some lights to these light fixtures in a moment. We're going to turn the lights on. We're going to create light dispersion patterns, and you will see these lights shine right down through the cage, even creating shadowing effects across the island. That is often what makes a good rendering become a great rendering. Now, if we switch back over to our floor plan, I want to, let's say, right click on one of these images to begin with so you can get a look at it. So we're going to go into its attributes. And again, I just right clicked on the um, image of the light. This is obviously a sketch up light because I can tilt it and look and there is no light fixture inside of it. Light chosen from the 2020 catalogs actually have light fixtures. Um, light, uh, light bulbs, light components, where you can actually turn them on. So we're going to need to add one to this image. How would we do that? Let's go over to the drag and drop menu. Choose the room furniture catalog. Choose lighting fixture, recessed lights, and there's a light here called spot recessed. And if I drag this light over to the plan and drop it into place, you'll see that I have a light right here in the middle of the room. So let's bring these lights to life. We can do so by right clicking on the light and there's an option called light properties. So I have the ability to change the intensity of the light. I'm actually going to make this really bright. I'm going to make it much brighter than I normally would. That way it shows up well for you at the end. I can change the profile. Profile actually determines the light dispersion pattern. For instance, if I click bollard, you'll see a bollard pattern. In this case, I'd like to use tight focused because I really want a tight beam of light going right down through the cages um, in those light fixtures to create a cool shadowing effect on my countertop. I can click OK. Let me go into my attributes for a moment. Now, I mentioned that we're going to be adding this light. This is a regular 2020 light. But if I'm going to add this to, let's say, a SketchUp shape that does not have its own lighting properties, you'll notice that the light from 2020 actually has a visual image. We want to make that transparent so that we create the illusion of light coming from the SketchUp model without actually seeing this disk inside of it. How do we do that? Well, if you go to Variables, under Variables, there's a feature called Properties. If you click on Properties, it'll say Display in 3D, and then it says Value Yes. If you move all the way to the right, click on the down arrow and choose no, watch what happens to my light. It will disappear. So the light itself, the circle itself is gone, but you will still see light emanating from that invisible image. That's how we take a Google SketchUp image and we add a light to it without you actually seeing the 2020 upgrade to it. Let's go ahead and click OK. We'll come back out of here and there's my light. Now I need two more of these. So I will right click and say duplicate. I'll click right here and I'm going to drag these over. I'm actually going to hold the control and the shift key down at the same time so I can kind of snap these into place. So we'll go ahead and we'll snap into place here. So we'll snap. I'll go grab this light again and I will duplicate. Click here. I will drag this over and snap this into place. I will Take this light now, just grab hold of it and start moving it, and I will snap it into place. Now, when I drop this light into place, it actually is put the light in the ceiling. And if I were to right click on this light and I were to go up down right now, you'll notice that it says the light is currently at 110 inches. 
I have already tested the light, know that this light needs to be at 73 and 5 sixteenths of an inch off of the floor. That would properly position it inside of my light fixture. So if I typed in 73 space 5 slash 16, I could tell the light exactly where I needed to be off of the floor. I'll do it with that light. We'll come over here. We'll choose this light. We'll go to up and down. We'll do the same thing. So that was 73 space 5 slash 1 6. I'll click OK. And then we'll do it one last time here to this light. So I right clicked. I highlighted spotlight. I'll click on up down. I'll type in 73 space 5 slash 16. Click OK. And if we come back out of here and take a quick look at this, I want you to notice that I have light coming out of the SketchUp models. You'll see the light reflected or the light actually shining on the cage. And look at my countertop where you actually see the cage itself as a shadow on the countertop. This is an awesome way to bring your images to life. And again, lighting is often what takes a good rendering and turns it into an awesome rendering. Thanks for joining me, and please check out the other helpful videos in this series. For other great ideas, tips, and inspiration, please join us at 2020spaces.com forward slash community.